we're obviously going to start with Jaden Daniels. We talked for months about this pick. We opined. We broke it down. We analyzed. We microanalyzed. We overanalyzed. There was paralysis by analysis. Months and months of speculating. And as it turned out, Danny, all that smoke was for a reason. Yeah. There were some flames. The storyline was Adam Peters is not telling anybody anything. Lance Newmark and Martin uh, and Martin and Martin and Martin and who's the Marty's. They're not getting word out on what they're doing. So whatever you're hearing, it's just from people that might not know. But the fact is, it wasn't a particularly well kept secret as we got to the final week. The commanders wanted Jaden Daniels, and Adam Peters made it known last night that they made this decision a while back. He said, you don't really have to write it in pen until the last moment, so they didn't. But he he did suggest that they have known for a little while. And so they got their guy. The biggest decision 44-year-old first-time GM Peters will make, the most significant conversation that he and Newmark and company will have all offseason was the quarterback dialogue over the last month and it ended with them taking Daniels out of LSU. Make no mistake, this is the thing. All the other, the reasons why you go get a new mark, a Peters, the reasons why you decide on, you know, Cliff Kingsbury and Joe Witt and, and, and anybody in between was for this decision, right? You need the most qualified people to make this call. And even the most qualified people who are great at this don't get this right all that often. And there's a million reasons why. You don't know what happens the first time you give in this case, a guy that's going to be 24. But when you give someone in their young 20s millions of dollars, what's their first reaction? You don't know until you do it. Until you give them all the responsibility. What's it going to be like? You don't know until you do it. You do the best you can in this inexact, ridiculous process that is so much fun, by the way, the NFL draft. But the whole point of hiring Adam Peters was for calls like this, right? It's it's why you don't have Ron Rivera doing it anymore. The dream in the NFL right now, and this is what every executive wants and what every head coach wants, is the ceiling that Daniels could potentially provide, Mm -hmm. right? You see it in Lamar Jackson right now, where the best athlete on the field is at quarterback for you. I love the quote that both Quinn and Peters used. And some group think they've been talking to each other a lot, sitting in each other's office. You might hear some, uh, yeah. I don't know who stole it from who, but they both used it at different points last night. Jaden Daniels can steal the soul of a defense. Quinn said, He does it on third and long. Peters just said he's got the ability to steal your soul. They salivated over the upside, the potential, the roof of this player who had 90 plays last year of 20-plus yards. 90 plays, throwing and running, 20 or more yards in 2023. They looked at a player in the SEC where the best defenses are with some of the best defensive prospects, I guess I should say who was the first player in the history of the conference this season to throw for 3,800 yards and run for 1,000, and they said, that's good enough for us. He can make the transition. He's a good enough thrower of the football. He is an electric runner. This is, as I like to say, explosivity personified, right? And you, you can dream on that. And they chose to look at that ceiling of, if this works out, we've got what everybody's hunting. When you go big game hunting at quarterback, you're trying to find the weapon. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the best passer, which Daniels is a pretty good one for the record. Not necessarily the best runner, which he is that coming out and probably post Lamar. But you're looking for the best weapon at the position, and they deem that to be Jaden Daniels this coming season, which is probably true. And long term, clearly, they think he'll be the best player at quarterback. And so they went with the guy who last year showed off a deep ball that he hit on 67% of the time with 22 touchdowns and no interceptions. And while there were plenty of those areas, like there are with May, like there are with McCarthy, like there are with Caleb Williams, sure. where you, you, if you want to, you can focus on the other stuff as to why it may not work. And here's a something to be nervous about. Here's something that can make you anxious. What are you choosing to look at? They looked at, if it works out, Washington, D.C.'s got the guy everyone in the league's going to be jealous of. And, and that's my philosophy here, right? Because the whole point's not to be okay. The whole point's to be great. So I'm going to shoot the moon. And, and if it crashes and burns colossally, I'll see you in a couple of years. We'll try to do it again. But to me, that's the whole, the end of the discussion for me. It's why I fell in love with, with Jaden Daniels saying, 
I know there are wrinkles. There are with everybody, by the way, to your point. And what happens, and I was actually talking with somebody about this uh, this morning, is the last football game is played in, what, January for these guys? Most of these guys, you know, what Daniel's last game was probably sometime in December. Maybe he had a New Year's Bowl. I can't, I can't remember anymore. It's been so many months. So there's no football play. There's no new data. All we're doing is pouring over the same stuff over and over and over again. And when you do that for that long, you're not going, you know what else is great? You know what else is great? What are you doing? You're looking for wrinkles. You're looking for flaws. And that's what gets combed over. That's, that's what gets the job. That's what gets just that's what gets discussed and 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 beaten into the ground or dismissed or elevated, whatever part of parts of the conversation. So I love the way that you, you put that because if you're the team here in, in Peters and Newmark's case, you're sitting there going, if this is all right, we understand it's a risk. It's a risk with anybody because anytime you take someone, you're not taking everybody else when, when you're at number two. If this works correctly, this works as we hope, and we're doing everything we possibly can to make sure that it does, we could be the envy of the league. We could be the team where everybody goes, well, we have to do this, 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 and this because Jaden Daniels is there in Washington, the way it is in the AFC right now. If you'd like to compete in the AFC and you're, God forbid, you're in the AFC West, everything is now done with, well, Mahomes is in Kansas City. So that means I, I better have this defensive end or this uh, defensive tackle to bother him or this set of cornerbacks to play coverage this way. Everybody's doing everything to try to get by that beast in Kansas City, that unstoppable juggernaut of Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. Incredible players, incredible teams have nothing to show for it because that dude's there lurking. That's what you're trying to build. That's the hope. And that's why you shoot the moon on that sort of exciting, enticing, unique, once in a, you know, however many dozens of years type skill set that Daniels has. I get it. We can open up the phones for you guys for your first reactions after the pick was announced. It's interesting because this is going to sound conflicting, and maybe it is. We all expected Jaden Daniels for several days, and yet there was this prevailing thought. I think for a lot of people, Nobody actually knows. They're about to shock everybody. That's what I thought. I was wrong. So it seemed like there was an immense confidence for the majority of folks that Jaden Daniels was going to be the pick. But then at the same time, you had a lot of people going, I'll wait till you see what they actually do. And as it turned out, it was almost anticlimactic, which doesn't change the importance, the significance, and the excitement of the night if this actually ends up working out with Daniels, the Southern California native who played football, basketball, soccer, and track growing up. I talked about this on our draft show last night, and we should thank all the listeners who came out to Dudley's in Sherlington. Awesome time last night, man. It was great. The hospitality was great yep. that they provided. That was a blast. But also, we had a ton of people come out, and I, I understand where we are in the grand scheme of things. Uh, you came out for the draft probably because it would be fun, and you wanted to go out and drink and and clank your glasses to Jaden Daniels, but to be a small part of it was really cool. But thanks to everyone who came up and and throughout the night uh, made it a memorable evening for us as well. But I mentioned on our draft show yesterday a couple of times, Jaden Daniels wears number five because he idolized Donovan McNabb growing up. That's why he wore number five. It's kind of interesting for a guy that was in California, I think. But now you're starting in D.C. just like Donovan McNabb did. And make no mistake about it, he will be the starter in week one. If you took Drake May, I guess there could have been a conversation about that. If you're the Falcons and you have a starting quarterback and you take another one anyway, you might have to sit for a little while. But in the case of Daniels, who played over 50 games in college, in the case of Daniels, who is viewed as pretty polished and has been, he threw to Brandon Ayuk in college. I mean, that's, that's how long, how long ago. he was yeah. playing high-level college football. He's going to start week one. This was the pick last night on television as it came in uh, during the NFL draft. With the second pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Washington Commanders select Jaden Daniels, quarterback, LSU. There it was. The wait, the speculation, the hesitation. Kind of the air went out, right? It was like, oh, okay, The debate, yeah. yeah. It ended. Mm -hmm. they, they picked their guy. They got their quarterback. And now it's Jaden Daniels' time in Washington, D.C.